Today, we will be focused on two things, right? The neck shoulder pain and the low back pain. Okay. So, one thing we have to do is to kind of uh, uh, think out of box here uh, in trying to learn the acupuncture because there's so much material out there. Think about 2,000 years of accumulation of, and nobody's uh, can, can master that. Besides, there are a lot of information that's not very good, okay? So, um, the box we have here, it's a Huang Di Jing, right? The Shang Han Lun, okay? The Huang Di Jing is actually the everything goes back to Huang Di Jing for acupuncture. Because it's the very beginning. I think it was made before 2000 years ago. I mean, maybe 3000 years ago, because accumulated a body of knowledge and somebody assembled that about 2,000 years ago, and they wrote it called Huang Di Ni Jing, the Yellow Emperor's Inner Canon, all right? It's not one author, there are a lot of people together uh, kind of wrote a book. Okay, so there are a lot of different uh, ideas in there. Okay, but it laid down the, the whole meridian system, everything, okay? So the next one is Sang Han Lun, it's about, talk about the how to use herbal formula. Okay, so Huang Di Jing is for meridians and body physiology, okay? And uh, Sang Han Lun is for herbal, how to put together. Okay, so you have the uh, meridian theory, uh, Five elements theory, which is actually the same idea. Excuse me. And then you get a Zhang theory, okay. These are all you learned down here, yes? In TCN. The, the core, okay. So there's a, some problems on that. Because <coughs> all this knowledge here is more than 2,000 years old. Okay, so, so you, got the, you got to input all the new information here and uh, there is a, a, some kind of uh, resistance doing that. Because once you learn the, uh, all these uh, uh, TCN theory, you spend three years, $200,000. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to give up, right? <laughs> right? Okay, but the most important thing here is <coughs> to be able to use that information without being bind by those information. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. In, in the fusion of the new science, okay? Okay, so people have been trying to cure this old information for a long time. Uh, Japan did that, China did that, okay, but still it existed. It means there is something good about the whole system. Okay? Okay. So you just have to uh, learn all this and actually understand what's behind it. And what's behind it is actually science. Okay? Okay. And a lot of you guys come down here to study TCM is because you're probably fed up with Western medicine. Okay? Because you have a different approach and, uh, and, and there are certain things that is not been uh, some of the medical need that's not been taken care of properly, okay? okay. So that's, that's good and uh, you have to know what is that, that box. Okay. Now look at these are uh, x-ray film and uh, on the right, on the left are two film I took from the internet, right, the, the copy. And this is what you will see when people have a knee problem, they took x-ray, and on the left side is the um, normal knee, right? Okay, and what, how do you know it's normal? You can see the gap in all across the joint. It's very even. Yes? Yeah. Okay. And right next to that is so abnormal, okay? Uh, what is that is abnormal about that? It's 
uneven, right? Okay? And uh, especially on the right side that you can see the gap is very narrow, yes? And this is where the doctor will tell the patient your, 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 your knee is shut, it's bone on bone. Okay? So a lot of people accept that, say, oh wow, that's, uh, there's nothing you can do about it, okay? The question is, well, if it's bone on bone, how come it's not entirely bone on bone, but on the right, on the left side of the bone, actually the gap is huge. Yeah? So what does that mean? Okay. And if you uh, do a search of all the digital films on the internet, you will see the gap narrow is always on the medial side. Interesting, huh? Okay. Now you look at the right side. This actually was my, my knee. Okay, uh, it's a 1995. Okay. Okay. And, and what happened here is that um, <coughs> 1994, I went to the so I I, I went to the uh, ACT lab in San Francisco, right, and study acupuncture. Okay. And because I, I, I didn't uh, work at a time, so I choose to stay a small little shed in uh, El Cerrito, okay? And it didn't hit the heat, okay? So if you guys have ever been in San Francisco, you know the like, winter time is very bad, very cold. Because uh, I was young, you know, 46 years old. But I didn't mind, and then I only have a very small blanket. And then, previous I have a little bit knee issue because I was living at the, in Utah and we went to ski all the time, right? And everybody who has ski, they have knee problems for sure, okay? But all of a sudden, my arthritis became very bad, okay? And this is, this is uh, 1995, uh, 1995, okay? And you can see very clearly the gap on the inside is narrow compared to outside, okay? Not as severe as the other uh, film that is on the, on, the, on the slide there, okay? So I tried to, I tried to treat it, uh, massage, acupuncture, and, uh, and Tai Chi. And by the way, if you have a deep pain and Tai Chi rid doesn't help. All right, Tai Chi is for when you are good, okay? Your knee is good, you do Tai Chi, it's improve it, maintain it, but when you are in pain, Tai Chi would not help. Okay, why is that? Does anybody have an idea? Think. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a, okay, so, I treated and uh, and then uh, in a few years uh, I, I got over that and uh, actually this is 2003 I went to uh, Climb Mountain right in Taiwan, uh, Jay Mountain, very high, highest total mountain in Southeast Asia. Okay, walk from 5,000 feet and all the way to 30, 30, about 13,000, no problem. Okay, so it, the point here is you can get over the arthritis. Okay, even though when I was in school, you know, it was very difficult. San Francisco is known for the up and down hill. Difficult. Okay, so, so here, one of the things about uh, Western medical approach, they always focus on the information. Okay? And obviously, my knee has information issue. Right? Has information issue. But if I treat information, then I, my knee would not get better, okay? Okay, and this is the box in the Western medicine, okay? So, so they would do anti-inflammatory uh, medication, the cortisone, and uh, then when it gets even worse, they would have gels, inject gels, okay? 
and other jaw a few years, then they start to go down. Okay, they, they might have reaction because some of them would use a chicken chicken soup something. <laughs> well, chicken, not good. So so in the end, they will have to need new prep's replacement. Okay, which is shouldn't. If they treat it properly, they don't have to do that. Okay, okay. so here is something you, 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 we know we can help very, very well. Okay, I mean, you can look at me, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is 20, 1995, right? This is 20, so I'm doing good. Okay. Do you have a, a mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. The X-ray after you. I tried to do that a couple of times, but uh, the doctor would not give to me. Oh. Here in San Diego, San Diego. it was oh well, it looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I really love it, but it just oh, it looks okay. <laughs> okay. So the key here. Okay, the key here. Which is uh, more than just the arthritis, okay? It's the heat, okay? The alignment of the knees, okay? Now, alignment is not that easy thing to do, okay? You can tell people, you should walk this way or do that way. It won't work, okay? And the reason for it is if your muscular issue is a pain issue, okay? You have to take care of that and then let them know how to do it properly. Okay, otherwise you'll come in just uh, not proper alignment. Okay, herbs help certain times. Okay, but for arthritis, it's not as important as the rest. Okay, so the question is how? Okay, now before you get into that, that's uh, let me give you just uh, some of the the framework of the whole acupuncture education. Okay? I mean, you spend $200,000, you should know what are you in here for. Not very pretty. <laughs> All right? But, but the, the good news is you don't have to be like that. Okay. So this is a, actually I had a book here. It, it's written by uh, this guy called uh, Felix Mann, right? I got that book, very funny, because I got that book in uh, 1980, 1980 in New York City. And I was go walking down to the subway, and there's a bookstore, and there's a, all the, all the okay, used book on the big, big pantry. I said, hmm, that looks interesting. So I book, picked that book. I never touched it until 1993, when I was out of work. Okay, I have all the time. I said, hmm, that's interesting. So I said, okay, I would uh, study acupuncture. Okay? okay. So this guy, Felix Mann, Felix Mann, he's a, he was a German born. Okay, physician, and he practiced in, in, in England actually. And look at, um, he's the founder of the, uh, and the president of Medical Acupuncture Society in, in England. Okay, and this is 1959 to 1980, very early. So they have a good start of acupuncture in, in Europe, then US. US did get started until probably early in okay, so, so this guy has a lot of uh, uh, publication. Look at that, right? From a better treatment, the number seven is the one I have in here, okay? Very early. And he, he published the uh, textbook for acupuncture, right? Uh, funny that when I was in school in, in the ACT CM in 1996, I decided to go to the library to see what, well, see whether he had an, an, some new books, and I saw the the book called Reinventing Acupuncture, and I was shocked. 
because he refused our theory of qi and meridian. Please what? Refuse. They refuse to accept. Oh. Okay, this is a quote from the reinventing acupuncture. Okay. The meridians of acupuncture are no more real than the meridians of geography. I mean, it doesn't exist, it's a conceptual. Okay? Which is not too bad. A lot of things is a conceptual, right? If this is the one that's kind of <laughs> Very irritating. If someone were to get a spade and try to dig up the Greenwich Meridian, he might end up in the lunatic asylum, right? Perhaps the same fate should await those doctors who believe in acupuncture readings. Bad, huh? <laughs> this is out of 50 years of practicing acupuncture, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, to make even worse, and this is uh, actually in 1997, uh, 80, 90s in US, we try to, I mean, people try to make acupuncture accepted. And one of the problems is clinical study to prove acupuncture work. It's very hard to come by. Okay? There are a lot of studies, like, like, like lots of uh, reports about acupuncture effectiveness, but none of them has rigorous uh, uh, behind it. Bigger, okay? so, so this one is actually the first time you have big study by Germany. Okay. Uh, they did it uh, in the, about 2003, and look at them. Um, um, they have randomized Okay, multi-center, blinded, uh, parallel group, okay, parallel, trial, three control, okay, two control group, one acupuncture. So it, so it involved about 340 sites, right? Thousand, a thousand patients, range, age range from 18 to 86, so a lot of people, okay, and had a lot of history of uh, uh, the low back pain. So they have one study for, they call Berlin acupuncture protocol. They use uh, okay, the acupuncture, what we taught in school. Okay. And then they have uh, one that compare with it, they call it sham study, right? Okay. So the whole thing lasts for 2.5 years and, uh, and then published. Complete, uh, completed in 2003 and then published in 2006. Okay. So each treatment is 30 minutes. Okay? 30 minutes long. And then two sessions a week. Okay, and then uh, the evaluation after six months and then they define effectiveness. If there are 33% of improvement, then effective. Okay, three, okay, not very high, right? Okay, so the, the true, so-called uh, our standard, the burden, okay, okay, uh, they have 387, and shame study, and here, the shame study, acupuncture, they use acupuncture needle, but choose the point that's not on the meridians, all right? Okay, and then the conventional study, which is a combined drug, physical therapy, and exercise. Okay? Okay, and this, if you look at this chart, okay, this is the so called Vernon, the, the point they use. Okay, it should look very familiar to you if you really learn our textbooks well. Okay? Because this is what people are taught to use. All right? You have urinary bladder meridians, okay? And you have UV 23, 25, 26, 40, and 22, and then Huato okay, kidney, and uh, extra meridian, Yao Yan, okay, and do meridian, right? Everything you're taught to use. So that tells you the effectiveness of this acupuncture 
according to this, okay, is not very good. Why? Only 46% are effective, which means only 33% of improvement. And the sham occupied burner. But the good news for them is uh, either one is actually better than conventional, twice as good. So for German acupuncture, they're good. So now they are in the system of national healthcare. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, but they don't like it, right? They actually just despise the acupuncture. So, so here is their conclusion of the paper. Our finding that formal qualification of physician or number of years of acupuncture experience has no significant influence on treatment outcome, meaning <laughs> no matter how good you are, it's still not good. Okay, and there are another comment say here, so all the money spent in the education of acupuncture is not good. Terrible, right? That's why you never saw this study. Because <laughs> it's good for acupuncture, but it's not good for acupuncture. <laughs> okay. okay, so here, what my, my advice to you is, just like Mark Twain once said, right? Reporter of my death is uh, great. You greatly exaggerate it. Okay, you should not care, say, oh, acupuncture, American is all dead, right? It's just you have to understand what they are, truly are. Okay, and I can guarantee you, acupuncture is so good. Okay? Okay, if, if I've seen some of the results, instant. Okay? 98, more than 90% 90, 90 of effectiveness right away. Okay? So, to, to do that, you have to understand a couple of things. Okay, and the nerves, that's why you do nerves muscles, and biophysics, okay? So here, I would, I'm going to tell you how to, to do that, the protocol to do that, okay? But more important, actually, the principle behind that, because that is actually the, the gist of that, okay? So, so what this, these uh, uh, experience told you is that anybody who's a needle, they can have as good as acupuncture practice as you guys, you, used, you guys that have studied two years. Okay? <laughs> Not very good, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. But you don't have to be like that. So here, why do I choose this? Because, you know, choose the muscular skeletal pain to talk about because it is the center of all kinds of pain. Okay? Science. It's based on science. And it's very important. Okay. 